options with adding equipment those are going to vary depending on the equipment that you choose. We've taken a look before at a vessel or a tank, and whenever you do that, you get many choices as far as shapes and things such as that goes. I'm just going to go back to this Create tab, and I'm going to drop down to the vessel area and just kind of take a reminder that all the different things that you can do with the vessel, adding the different types of head cylinders, but remember you could also put in custom shapes as well, and you can put these in the orders that you want them in. Now, if you were doing a blower, you don't get much choice at all. You have to pretty much add the shapes in manually that you want this blower to resemble. Let's take a look at the pump here. I'm going to go ahead to a hose pump, and you'll see that you have uh, a pump that's been built for you. You have your discharge and your suction nozzles there as well as your motor. But if you look down here in the dimensions, you'll get a short description of each one of these dimensions. So you can take your purchase pump and you can pretty much size it exactly the way that you want according to here. I'm going to go ahead and leave these dimensions uh, as default, but I am going to add a tag to the pump by clicking on this tag area. And I'm going to take the next available number to put this pump in. And then I'll go ahead and I will do create pump. Now we can put in our pump uh, at an exact point, or we could use our snaps and we could snap in. I'm just going to go ahead and place that one in there. Now I'm going to go back to a parallel view. And if you click on that, you can edit those nozzles. Right there, it's telling you what uh, they are. Maybe you needed to. If you edit those nozzles, you might need to put a, a, a different pressure class on there. Maybe you want to change that pressure class to 150 instead of 300. It doesn't matter. You can edit the nozzles here according to what your needs are here. So also, whenever you place equipment in there, we're going to just drop another one of the same ones in here again. You can also use your compass to place it. If you notice, you can place it in rotation wise so you can use the compass to help place the direction that you want for your pump let's go ahead and add a horizontal tank into our project here we'll go back to our uh, equipment uh, panel which is on our home tab and we'll go to create and what we're going to do is we're going to take this horizontal tank here and we're going to uh, change well, this one has a cone on it so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that from there and then we're going to add a shape to it. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll do this uh, a semi ellipsoidal head. And we'll make sure that everything is going to match up uh, diameter wise. And that looks like uh, good. And we're going to go ahead and tag this with our next available number that we have available. Let's go ahead and assign that. Now, let's just say, for instance, uh, this happens to be one of the tanks that we can use on a regular basis. So rather than going through the process of doing this every time, we can use this template folder right here, and we can say save the current setting as a template. And so I can call this horizontal tank 5. And then I'll go ahead and save that. So let's go ahead and place our tank. And let's just go ahead and zoom in here. We can either place it at an exact spot or we can just kind of snap it. We'll go ahead and use our compass to get it into place. And let's say that we needed one more just like it. Now, keep in mind that we saved this as a template, so we can go to the template. We can go to Horizontal 5, and then when we create Horizontal 5, we can go here and place it, and now we're ready to go.